game after him. You know, I think for me personally, what I learned a lot from my dad was really more mentality. Uh, you know, he wasn't the most technical guy, fundamental football player. Uh, it was more, you know, uh, the way that he approached the game, his work ethic, all of those things. And uh, for me, for the most part, my fundamentals, I've, I've learned the majority of it from, you know, Jamal Brown and everything that we've worked on throughout the years in my career. Uh, not often. Not often. Yeah, it's not going to be an issue at all. You know, uh, it was just something that we weren't asked to do really in college, and I'm very capable of it. It's something you've been working on since. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Is there a challenge to adjusting to that? No, not really. Not for me personally. Uh, I haven't had any struggles with it. When you started down this, did you give any thought to not playing your father's position? You know, yeah. trying to do something else? No, man. I mean, I've I've been fat my whole life, you know, so <laughs> I, you know, I, I haven't. You know, I, I wish I wish I was fast. If I was fast, six two, I'd probably be playing DB. But God bless me. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is what it is. But um, you know, I don't I don't necessarily try to live up to his expectations. I try to see them. Joe Mix. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, you know, honestly, it doesn't really matter who the back is. Not gonna lie to you, but you know, obviously, uh, the relationship that me and Joe had, it was great. I loved it. Um, you know, very energetic player, and you know, one of my really good friends. Um, just his versatility. You know, his versatility uh, and ability to, you know, he can take on contact if needed. He can make you miss. You know, he's got a great jump cuts, great footwork, and uh, you know, most importantly, I think he does a really good job of understanding personnel. Yeah, honestly, we haven't had much time. You know, it's been very busy for all of us. Um, you know, but I, I've seen Mark a little bit, obviously. Um, Baker, I've seen him once or twice. Seen Obo, Dimitri. Um, haven't seen uh, JT. But uh, it's exciting, man. It's happy. It's a happy time. You know, good time. Um, you know, obviously, we're all working. The team asked you about Baker, Mayor, uh, Baker Mayfield's character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, from a character standpoint, I know obviously there's been a lot of issues uh, in the public eye from, you know, the crotch grabbing, uh, you know, what's happening in Arkansas. But um, in the reality, you know, of, of, you know, who he is as a person, you know, I don't, I've never, you know, experienced anything wrong. You know, I've never experienced anything bad. I think, you know, you can ask anyone that, that knows him, you know, he's an incredible person. Uh, you know, for me personally, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a very supportive leader. You know, he's 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 a worker, man. You know, he's really, really about his craft, and uh, you know, he's very well respected. It seemed like during games, sometimes you guys would have to talk a little, a little more yeah. than maybe some other teammates. What, what, what goes on in those conversations? A lot, a lot. Um, you know, obviously. Maybe him asking me what I said to, you know, a defensive end, or me asking him what he was saying to that safety. Uh, sometimes it's scheme-related stuff, but um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of communication. Linda, what do you remember from some of the early days you spent in the Baltimore locker room and being around your dad and some of the players you met? Yeah, I, I remember a lot. You know, I was, uh, let's see, 04, 03 to 05. You know, I was basically in there, and then a little bit before that, I don't remember much. I remember being more in Cleveland before that. I was like three years old, but. Um, yeah, being in, being in Baltimore was really cool. You know, obviously some of my dad's really good friends were, you know, Ray Lewis, Jamal Lewis, Ed Reed, Alan Ricard, um, you know, Priest Holmes, uh, guys like that. Like, those, he, he hung out with those guys a lot. And, you know, I remember being around him and, you know, people, kids in school handing me Ray Lewis pictures to get signed and I keep them. So, <laughs> yeah. Was Wally Williams also somebody yep. who was a big part of your life? Can you just explain yeah. what he's been in terms of the whole model? Yeah, Riley's been Riley's been a good person. You know, uh, honestly, I haven't spoke to him in a, in a while, but uh, you know, I know that you know him and my dad were very close. Watch which tape. I mean, I have a Yeah, um, like I said before, man, I can't really study my dad. You know, he was a very physical player, but it, it was more of you know mentality and fundamentals. And the game's changed so much, you know, from 1993 to <laughs> to now, and even from 05 to now. And uh, you know, just his game was was very different. Were there any NFL tackles that are playing now? Did you play in the AFC North? Did you watch? Yeah. Um, 
Not necessarily in the AFC North. You know, I've watched uh, Villanueva a little bit in the run game. Uh, I like his footwork and, and some of the stuff he does, but he's very, very athletic. Um, for me, you know, my favorite tackle that I've watched is Andrew Whitworth. You know, I watch a lot of his game. Uh, honestly, uh, Trent here in the past few years, uh, I think, like, his techniques have changed a lot. And, you know, he's got a lot of you know, good uh, good stuff. Um, Taylor Lewan, Tennessee, I like a lot of his uh, his footwork and all those different things. Russell O'Coom, you know, he's very similar. What do I like about Will?